median. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. How was your day today, medium? Uh, tired, uh, tired and sad. Sad? Why sad, medium? Uh -huh, because and the project uh, in my job. <gasps> today? Uh -huh, today. Uh, uh -huh, the uh, cool they fired. Uh huh. Okay. And finished the contract. Uh huh. I finished the contract. I medium. Okay. Nah. Was but a good experience. Just this is the this is the the problem with with projects. Uh huh. The, yes. The money good, but uh, the project uh -huh. is depend. Sometimes the project six months, sometimes one year, sometimes three months. Uh huh. <laughs> but it's okay. And how long was your project, Minion? Uh, one month, one, oh. one month and a half. Oh, wow, very fast. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And now, now you have to look for another project. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. For tomorrow uh, with other, with other co-workers, ex-co-workers. Uh, what is your specialty, Miriam? Um, anyway, mi especialización. Yes. Uh, customer attention. Customer attention. Attention. Uh huh. Okay. Atención al cliente. Uh huh. And. Mm -hmm. sí. Ah, customer service. Customer service. Uh -huh. Customer service. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Take a ¿qué me? Date. Take a date. Uh huh. Tomar mm -hmm. datos. Date. Yes, data. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, so tomorrow, begin looking. <laughs> For tomorrow, uh, okay. I feel I feel sad, but uh, it's okay. Yes, the it's life, the, the life it, continue. <laughs> but in the beginning, but but you know the project only lasts one month. Uh, I I. I, I didn't understand teacher. For in, in the beginning, when you mm -hmm. begin working, the company oh. say, ah, the project one month. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. okay. And probably two months and probably the other months. Ah, uh, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it's like a, a little surprise. Uh-huh, a little surprise. Okay, no problem. Hello, Aida. Hello, Jose, Stephanie, how are you? Hello, I am fine. And you, teaching? Excellent, excellent. A little sad, a little sad because tomorrow is the last class. Tomorrow is the last day of class. Really? Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's sad. Yes, because I don't know when to begin again the next, the next class. Maybe in one week, maybe in two weeks, maybe right. in April. But it's the typical, right? This is the same with medium is the projects. When the, when the money finish, the project finish. <laughs> <laughs> you too, teacher? You too? More or less, because if, if, we, don't have, if we don't have class, then we mm -hmm. have to wait. Ah, but do you, do you, do you want other, other job? No, I, I have. Extra job. Uh, yes, ah, yes. Do you have uh, an extra an extra job? Yes. In oh, in okay. my case, I have. It's okay because yes, I, I I don't have this class, but I have other jobs, so it's okay. I continue. The other okay. job is permanent, but this one depends within support. Some days, uh -huh. some days have um, a lot of money for the for the classes and the scholarships, and sometimes they say no, 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 no money, no money, no money. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I so, understand. I got it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to begin right now. We are going to start first just taking a moment and discussing our weekend, our weekend activities. What happened? What did we do? Where did we go? With who? Remember to ask WH questions. Ask follow-up questions. All right. So 
One more time, the first thing that we want to do is discuss our weekend and ask your partner additional question, extra questions. Let's go. Don't worry, Karen, I send you to a group. Good evening. Good evening, Karen. Hello, Jose Carlos. I send you to the group.
Okay. Any questions, any vocabulary? Any words that you're not sure? Not teacher, all is clear. All is clear, anybody else? All right, great. So I hope everybody had a great day or a great weekend um, to say. Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue. Today, we're going to be reviewing units two and units three. If you remember, unit two is about problems. It's about describing the different problems that we have. We use with the words with countable and uncountable and also asking indirect questions, okay? So as an example, what we're going to do is we're going to ask each other those questions. Let me share the screen to help you remember a little bit about those unit two. Remember, this is review unit two. So in unit two, we have indirect questions like, could you tell me, do you know? Can you tell me how, okay? We also have count and non-count nouns. If you remember, those are the words where we have the S for plurals, which is count or no S, Singular for non-count, okay? Can easily. Okay, remember, count nouns are the ones with S. Non-count nouns are the ones that don't have S. They're the ones that don't have a plural form. And then we have the idea for expressions of quantity, okay? So as an example, you are going to describe to your partner different situations in your house different problems in your house, in your office, in your community. As an example, ah, Miriam, there are too many mosquitoes in my house. Do you know how to eliminate mosquitoes? Or Miriam, can you tell me how to kill the mosquitoes? Okay. Uh... Would you, uh, you, you, would you, okay, would you buy, would you buy a rocket? You can buy a rocket. You can, okay, you can buy a rocket. Okay, excellent. All right, Miriam, I bought the rocket and now what? <laughs> I have the rocket and now what? <laughs> yeah. And, yes. And you can you can you can put a uh, uh, repellent repellent repellent, repellent. Very good. repellent. Uh -huh. <laughs> excellent i like this is the indirect questions listen how was the indirect question first i give my problem there are too many mosquitoes next i have the indirect question let me put so that you let can me remember present. Indirect question, ah, could you tell me how to kill uh, the mosquitoes? Uh, do you know how to eliminate mosquitoes? Uh, or the different questions, remember, could you tell me? Do you know, or can you tell me? All are the same indirect questions. So problem, question, one person. One person, my problem, and ask for the recommendation. Partner number two, give the solution. Like Miriam, you can use a racket, you can buy a racket, you can use repellent. Now, normal in the house, 
the normal problems, for example, we have a leak. What is a leak? Mm -hmm. Normally we have a leak in the faucet. What is the leak? The leak is the water. This is the leak. For example, my bathroom, my bathroom faucet is leaking. That's right, that is a leak. Mm -hmm. Good. The faucet is where the water comes out, right? The water comes out the faucet. And in English is very common also the word sink. For example, in, in El Salvador, how do we say? Uh, uh, in El Salvador, we have to wash our hands, for wash the dishes, to wash the clothes. This is this different. In the US is called sink, bathroom sink, kitchen sink, basement sink. Okay. This is the normal. It's okay, the different types of sinks? Yes. Okay, excellent. So how do we say pila in English? Mm. Como que no quedó muy claro la palabra sink, ¿va? porque nadie me contestó. Sink. Sí. Ah, there you go. Sink. sink, excellent. Ah, okay. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I understand. How do you say lava mano? So that, ah, that's the mean for the room. It's the same with sink. No, no, no. Yes, but no. Yes, ah. the same sink, but bathroom, sink. Kitchen, sink. Okay. In the US, it's common this. The pila is normal in the US, but the design ah. is different. Pilas are normal in the U.S. Uh, All the pilas are normal, but yeah. the design is different. For example, here, this is the U.S. These are the basement. Mm -hmm. You can see here, always, oh, the majority of the houses have a sink in the U.S. The difference is la pila, this basement sink, the design is different because in the U.S., no wash next to, no wash next to. They wash in the sink. So only the, the big hole, no two. And normally is two. In El Salvador, normally is one. In the US is normal. The sink have division. For example, here, you can see in the majority, have a division, have a division. Look, here's another picture. Have a division is normal. One water dirty and the other water clean. This is the typical in the US because you wash in the sink. Okay. It's okay? Uh -huh. It's a oh. new information for me. Okay. It's only for the, only that the, the culture is different. The, the sink is not normal to use. In El Salvador, it's normal to use every day, every day. In the US is normal juice once a week. Only one time in the week. Sometimes one time in the month. Sometimes one time in the month, not every week. Okay, so I repeat the instructions. So Almost that's Dundee 6. The, the, the what, Cesar? Uh, yeah, for, uh, so lava manos. In English, uh, you Bathroom, say sink, sink. Uh, too. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Bathroom sink for all. No, no, no. And, no. and the, for kitchen, no, you say. No. Kitchen sink. Or, but exists another word for refer to lavamanos in no. English. Only sink. Or that is sink. Only sink. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So, remember. What are the instructions in this moment with the partner? Problem, request, indirect questions. Can you tell me how to kill the mosquitoes? Uh, do you know how 
to stop the leaking faucet? Can you tell me how to paint the wall? Can you, the different problem in the house? You ask, no problem in the house, the problem in the work. Then you ask, the problem with the car, my battery, my battery is dead. Can you tell me how to change the battery? Do you know how to change the battery? Am I partner the solution? This is unit two. Problems, indirect request, solutions. It's okay, the activity? Yes, okay, yes. okay, yes. good. Yes. Perfect, perfect, okay. So in this moment, with our partners, okay, let's present. Stephanie, I put you into a group. We are discussing unit two. Unit two.
Hey, hey, Alejandra. I put you, we are reviewing unit two. Unit two. Miguel, any questions? We are in unit two. We are reviewing unit two, Miguel. Okay, any questions, any vocabulary or problems? How do you say Artur? Hurt or injury. Depends how you use. Uh, for example, I am hurt. Uh, for eyes? I have pain. For eyes, uh, eyes hurt. Or, or, ah, or your no. eyes. Yeah, in my eyes. No, in this case, for your eyes, your eyes burn. 
Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. So many burning times, eyes. Ah, my eyes are burning. Is mm -hmm. uh, okay. Good. Any other words? Any other problems? No, we have a lot of solutions. Yes, you say your partner. Ah, you can. This is possible. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Excellent. Excellent. Let's go ahead and review unit three. Let's remember unit three and the topics. Okay. So in unit three is the topic or the name was time for a change. Here we had the idea for comparatives. Do you guys remember comparatives? We use comparatives to describe two things, okay? One compared to the other. We use the words, for example, more, less, than, enough, okay? So you can, we are going to compare different people. My mother, my father, my grandmother, my grandfather, my brother, my sister, my job, my classes, my classmate, my coworkers, my, the different. For me, it's okay. Any topic you want, you can compare anybody. So as an example, with your partner, you are going to say, oh, okay. Tell me about, describe, okay. Describe your mother and father. Ah, oh, okay. My father is taller than my mother. My mother is shorter, okay? My father is, no, no, no. My mother is more intelligent than my father because my mother doesn't work. Only stay home and receive the money. And my father, go, go to work, go to work, go to work. <laughs> and so my mother is more intelligent. Yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> so this is the idea. With your partner, you're going to compare two things, not important the topic, two people, two jobs, two cars, two cell phones, the Samsung and the iPhone. Oh, I like the Samsung, but the iPhone is more expensive. But I like the Samsung have many different games in the Google Play Store for free, I, whatever. The idea is you compare cars, cell phone, houses, apartments, El Salvador, whatever, but compare the two. Remember, this is review unit three. In unit three, the topic was comparisons with adjectives and noun. Here, we have many different things. For example, apartments. Apartments aren't big, it's only one. Ah, but then when you describe, ah, my apartments aren't big enough for families, okay? Or uh, the cars are, there are too many cars in El Salvador. So we need to have motorcycles. The, the streets, the streets in El Salvador are not, are not big enough for the cars. We need to have motorcycles to go faster in the streets and have less traffic. Imagine El Salvador, no cars, only motorcycles, no problem. Mm hmm it's okay? It's okay, teacher. Okay, remember, you select the two topics, but compare, compare the two topics. Okay, let's try one more time.
Okay, let's see how well you did with the comparatives. Let's take a moment. What did you compare? Give us some examples. Sir, I room? have a question. Yes, yes sir. Uh, how do you say, I, I'm not sure, but how do you say psicologicamente? Psychologically. Ah, yes, that's it. psychologically. Correct. Okay, psychologically. No falto el cli. No falto el cli. Uh, uh, and psychological <laughs> is for? Like a psychological. Like a. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't understand that. They are different. They are different functions. So psychologically is a description. It's an adverb. Psychological is a noun. Okay. Uh, okay, and psychology is for the science, right? It's the science, uh-huh. Okay. Okay, teacher, thanks. You're welcome. All right, Any other, anybody else? Any other questions? All right, let's listen. Diego, you ready? Give me the example, compare two things. <laughs> so um, let me check. Um, when my partner and I talk about the uh, about the the, the, the the matches yesterday, so but, but I try to explain in, in in English. I think in my case, uh, the Barcelona team is is better than Real Madrid. If you can watch, it, if you have the opportunity for watch it, the, the the match yesterday. You know what I say. Okay, okay. Why is better? Explain to me, Diego. Why is better? Um, I think he, he have a. Let me check. How do you say equilibrio? Anybody know equilibrio? Okay, equilibrio. balance. Balance. Ah, balance. A balance. Mm -hmm. Balance. I think the, the Barcelona he have a, a good balance for a uh, for team because uh, the the forwards is good the I don't know say let me check delanteros I remember um, uh, I watched it in the, in the dictionary <laughs> I think the delantero is forward forward mm -hmm. is delantero in I think I have already confused. It's okay, Diego. It's okay. Don't it's worry about def defense. I think it's defense and forward is, is good. I have the perfect balance for the team because uh, they, uh, 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 some, some player is have a, a, a more, more uh, um, I didn't know how it is the word, a more, uh, I don't know. So the, when the, when the experience experience is, the, I think the the some boy players have a good experience because the 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 old is 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 pass to the thirteen years old, and another another group and a short group they have a uh, uh, down. I don't know. Say less. If, le, yes, less less to thirty years old. I think it's, it's a good balance for team. Okay, excellent, Diego. Good description, very nice. Select the next person, Diego. Who is next? Uh, let me check. Um, Jose Portillo, maybe? Ooh, Jose Portillo, excellent. Jose say, yes, me, 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 me. Okay, Jose, describe two things, compare two things. Okay, two examples. Uh, well, uh, first one, uh, my car is newer than my brother's car. And the second example, the gasoline is more expensive than a month ago. Okay, good. Now explain, when is your, what year is your car? What year is your brother's car? Uh, well, my, my car is, 2017 and my brother's car is 2014. Okay, very good. Good with the dates and is good 
Did you remember, Jose Portillo? You remember how to use possessive? My brother's car. This is English. No, the car of my brother. This is Spanish. So good, good that you are remembering to speak in English. Very good. Okay, okay Jose, who is next? Uh, let me see. Anna Lisette. Anna Lisette, excellent. Thank you. Um, El Salvador oh. is mm -hmm. the, El Salvador is the smaller country than Guatemala. So, so, no, is that smaller? Only is smaller. Is okay. smaller. Mm -hmm. El Salvador is smaller than Guatemala. Correct. Um, my mother is older than my father. How old is your mother? Uh, uh, only I. <gasps> Holy <laughs> set. You don't know how old is your mother. <gasps> no, pero. Si sí se, pero no me acuerdo. He's older. Mm, he's older. He's older six years. And my father. How old is your father? Mm. <laughs> mm. I, teacher, I have internet connection. I don't hear. Teacher, I don't. Analyze it. No diré porque me dice que está muy viejito. It's okay, it's okay. She Take didn't care. pass the exam. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Annalisa. Who's next, Anna? Okay, next. Mm. Miriam Cabezas. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's Miriam a, Cabezas. A, Avenger, Avenger. <laughs> yeah, Avenger. como Jose. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, tell me, teacher. Tell me, describe, uh, compare, sorry, compare two things. Okay, I think Costa Rica is a safer country to live in than El Salvador. Uh -huh. And the technology uh, is better now than the technology before. Okay, for example, what? What technology? Uh, uh, for example, the phones, uh, the cell phones, computers, and I don't know, uh, uh, probably uh, the smart TV okay. and the old television. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Very good, Miriam. And the, the child too, and the children too. <laughs> and the children too, yes. <laughs> yes, it's they are smarter now. Yes, no, they... teacher. You and me, we we yeah, we we very intelligent, we the, right? The, uh -huh, very intelligent. <laughs> we are the all 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 generation teacher. We are intelligent. Yes. Yes. Are yes. you intelligent? <laughs> we are intelligent teacher. <laughs> yes. Yes. We have the two the two possibilities, right? Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right, Miriam. Who's the next person, Miriam? My next picking is Cesar Adonai. Ah, Cesar, uh, all right. Oh my God. Well, two things, right? Two things. Um, Explain why. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the Santana volcano is highest, uh, is higher uh, to than the Isalco volcano. That's one thing. And my my grandpa house my grandpa's house is um uh, a lot of enough or i how do you say that oh uh, it's uh, more big or bigger than uh, my house okay say the last sentence again try it one more time 
Oh, okay, okay. The my grandpa's house is bigger than my house. Correct. That is okay. correct. Good. Good possessive. Remember, it's always the small words er. The big words is more. Okay. Good job, Cesar. All right, Cesar. Who's next? Well, Aida Lisset. Aida Lisset. Now, okay. Okay. Um. Well, I think um. In my opinion, the mountains are better than the beach. <laughs> yes, because explain, explain why, uh, why because why? I like more I like the mountains because uh, the weather is better than the beach because the beach is hot and the weather in some time is uh, cold. And in the mountain you can walk around the, the, the mountains. And in, in the beach, you can bath in the sea, but you feel the sun in all, in, in all your body. <laughs> and I didn't like it. <laughs> yes. Okay, very nice. Good job. Very nice using different, describe nature. That's good. That's a good way to compare and contrast. Very nice, Aida. Okay. Who's next, Aida? Who's next? Um, Jose Carlos. Ah, exactly, Jose. Imagine, Jose. Imagine he's. I know, no sé, I cannot say. I think that uh, Coca Cola is better than Pepsi. Why? <laughs> Why the? What? What do you uh, say in English? Sabor. Anybody remember how to say sabor in English? Taste. Good, the taste or the flavor. Good, those are the two words. Taste, similar flavor. Taste. Uh, because Coca-Cola is better flavor than Pepsi. <laughs> mm -hmm, uh -huh. Why, why, what happened, what happened? Uh -huh. <laughs> and the other example? Uh, the notebook, no, excuse me, the book is more expensive than notebook. Okay, good, good. That's it. That's it. Super easy, guys. So we have, remember, excellent job. ER, small words, more big words. Always when you use two is necessary than. Remember than. The notebook is big, it's expensive, it's wonderful, one. The notebook is bigger than. The notebook is more expensive than the book, than the, the others. So that's the idea. Always when you are going to describe one, not necessary. You describe two, yes, it's necessary. Okay? Okay, teacher. All right. Guys, tomorrow we review unit four and unit five, tomorrow is the last day, the last day. I think everybody finished the platform, but if you didn't finish the platform, you have today and tomorrow to finish. Tomorrow is to finish the course, finish the class. So I hope you have a nice night and I see you guys tomorrow. Teacher. Thank you, yes. teacher. Una pregunta. Sí. Eh, no sé si alguien le enviaron los, el formulario para inscribir el siguiente módulo. No, alguien tienen abandonados. Yo vi, en el, no. yo vi en el chat que alguien que, que dos personas comentaron que, que si podía mandar el link, pero yo no vi respuesta de, de parte de nadie para los formularios. No sé si alguien lo tiene o no, nadie. Not, lo yet. Not, yet. No. Not yet. No. Y no solo el mismo link de la vez pasada de los formularios, no. No, ellos no. siempre mandan. Ah, ellos siempre no. mandan, pero esta vez no han mandado. Ok, ahí voy a mandar yo un correo, un, un WhatsApp también, porque ya, ya estamos ya finalizando. Sí, yeah. sí, y yo, yo, creí, eh, yo creí que me había mandado uno, pero sí me enviaron uno, como le decía, me salían como, como en anuncio, pero no tenía ningún link, solo la información, pero no tenía ningún link para, para acceder a nada. Ok, ahí lo voy a comentar, porque tal vez ellos se imaginaron que mandaron el link y no, no se dieron cuenta que no... No a juntar on the link. Okay. It's okay, teacher. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Okay. Thank, you. Nice Thank you. Good night. Bye. Good night.
Bye bye.